Hello, Poetry Project. How's it going? My name is Tommy Atibs, Pico, Indigenous American poet, screenwriter, single, and not actively mingling, and I am what? Bald, bitch. <laughs> Supposedly sheltering in place here in Los Angeles until June, and maybe even after that, I wouldn't be able to get a cut for a very long time, and my hair was annoying the freak out of me. <laughs> I'm going to read you an excerpt from my most recently purchased book, Feed, which you can find on IndieBound or um, online at your local bookseller, because a lot of those places are in some trouble right now, but they are still selling online. Uh, so check it out. Um, and don't do Amazon. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, um, this was originally, well, here we go. Dear reader, a rue I've learned tonight in this mid-city dinner party apartment tucked somewhat safely away from the asthmatic LA freeways is a mixture of butter and flour used to swell sauces and soups and Paul's baked sage mac and cheese that I'm whisking alive like an al dente evanescence cheese rock bop. Whistle while you whisk away the rage scrunched in your boulders. I says to them around the table, I says, I don't have food stories. With you, I say, I'm cooking new ones. Being protective of your recipes is only natural when things get stolen. So much butter, 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 rocking everywhere, am I right? <laughs> One stick, two stick, red stick, blue stick. I thought maybe half a stick. No, it's half a stick for the sausages, but a whole one for the tomato sauce. Butter the bread, get your sea salt rocks off. The water should taste Atlantic. Monica's kid practically revs himself into the tabletop behind us in her Albany Park apartment with Popeye's come hither musk wafting in through the open window. She says she didn't know how to cook before she got married. That trying new dishes was the way she and her husband bonded. Keeping kids alive is some shit, I think, while remembering when we duct tape 40s to our pongs in college. Mom does not want to be hooked up on no machines, she texts, day after auntie passes. That's not prolonging life, that's extending death. The garlic, the green pepper, the onion, which I just learned how to cut. Claw hands. Cracked my first ever egg for a cooking show in Berkeley where I made a spaghetti and charred frittata to serve the boy, a boy... The morning after, we presumably played dick butt. The basics are my revelation. The Ann and Dewey sausage, bacon tips, the ham hock, the scallions, the smoked paprika bubble bubbles, the gumbo in Roy's Concordia apartment by the bakery where the dad, just after a run, bought me a coffee while I was in line and slipped me his number. True story. Dear reader, let's make a culture. Let's make a dough. Like anyone whose culture has been scrubbed from history, you can scrub my apple crumble, but you could never scrub my hunger. Let's get bubbling. Let's get wet. Let's bold the buttock loaves at Christina's Bernal Heights abode. Jess pulls meat from the rib cage like her grandmother. The most flavorful parts are closest to the bone. Everything smells like fuzzy comfort. Insulin is a polypeptide hormone produced by the beta cells of the islets of loggerhands of the pancreas, tiny islands that regulate the metabolism of sugar in the blood. Insulin resistance begins when too many sugars are introduced too often into the body. The beta cells shoot their loads so often the body's like, damn insulin, why are you so obsessed with me? Undigested sugar molecules rage around the blood, doing all sorts of crimes. Insulin, from the Latin insula, isle, island, Sugar, dad's hair started to fall out. His long black trickster locks, tufts of it in the trash on the brush. Auntie's sister goes in to get her foot cut off. Auntie goes in for dialysis. They told her to stick a needle in the orange for practice. It's porous like skin. Auntie, you've been injecting the orange this whole time? What the heck? I am the recipe I protect. Thank you. Stay safe and healthy and all that motherfucking shit.